What is up, side hustlers, entrepreneurs, business builders, and dream makers? Welcome to the Study Side Hustle Podcast, episode 56. Great to be back in your buds once again, as we are every single day of the work week. Guys, I am excited because it has been a long weekend as far as I'm concerned. It's been a long time since I've been in your earbuds, and I am just so excited to be back here again, talking to you again. And I know you just saw, if you're watching the video, you just saw me looking off somewhere else while I was saying I was excited to be with you. And that's actually because I'm looking up what I want to share with you guys. Uh, so uh, I want to give a quick update just on some experiences that I've been having, and um, then we'll kind of switch into the topic for the day, okay? Some things that you guys are probably aware of because I mentioned them last week that I'm going to share with you now are uh, some updates about some wins and some experiences that I've had. So first off, and this is the first episode of the new month. This is the first episode we're doing in July. So I can now tell you officially because the month has ended that June was the most financially successful month of my entire entrepreneurial career. I started my first business when I was 18 years old. I'm 27. So that's nine years in the making. June was the biggest win I've ever had. It's the first time that uh, what I'm doing now has beat the most successful business I ever had, which is a membership I used to run. Um, and, um, my my profit for last month actually passed my highest ever revenue month that I had when I was strictly a lead agency. Lead agency hit the highest revenue, um, but now we've passed that in profit. So very exciting, huge win for the business in the month of June. And as a result, I mentioned to you guys last week how uh, I started really leaning more and more into um, focusing on that work-life balance now that I felt like I could afford to. And so I think maybe it is the case that there is a hustle season and a grind season. I don't think that those are long-term sustainable. And so I think that as soon as you have the ability, you should start trying to work in that work-life balance. And for me, here's what that looked like last week. Last week on Monday, I had my very first ever uh, singing lesson. I'm having singing lessons once a week on Mondays, and I'm, I'm trying to learn how to sing. Um, on Tuesday, I had my first ever uh, West Coast Swing dancing lesson. My wife and I do East Coast Swing. Uh, when I was in college, I learned East Coast Swing. I learned uh, waltz. I learned tango. I learned cha-cha. I learned hustle. I learned... Um, I feel like I probably learned some more dances, but I, I never, we, and, and I've tried several times in my life to do Lindy Hop. Lindy Hop is a serious challenge for me. Still haven't figured it out. Uh, but on Tuesday last week, we did our first ever uh, West Coast Swing. And West Coast Swing is a very interesting dance to me. Um, and interesting means challenging in a very unique way. Um, then on Wednesday, I was able to play tennis. Um, with a, with a good friend of mine. And so we have that actually book that we'll be playing tennis every Wednesday for the foreseeable future. Um, Thursday. Now, Thursday was the culmination of something really cool that I've been able to experience. Uh, one of the things, if you guys really ever pay attention to uh, my background and you pay attention to the books that I have on my desk and things of that nature, uh, what you'll see is this like ever changing state of uh, these books that are a lot of them are philosophical, uh, but you'll see a lot of books that are also theological and you'll see a lot of books that are on uh, Christian apologetics or the evidence for Christianity. Uh, you know, I'm a devout Christian. Uh, what, what you may or may not know is that I am very heavily dedicated to uh, Christian ministry in the field of apologetics or the evidence for Christianity. Well, on Thursday, uh, last week was the first one. I'm doing this uh, five a five week class uh, for college students where once a week we're meeting together for three hour blocks and I'm teaching them a whole bunch on this type of stuff. Um, so I, I mean, I spent a lot of time last week preparing, but Thursday was the day that I did it. So Thursday um, was effectively a half day of work for me or less. And then most of the day was dedicated to that. Uh, Friday, my my wife and I went to another West Coast Swing Dance event. Uh, it was really fun. And then on Saturday, Saturday, the only really big thing that happened on Saturday was that I went to a chiropractor for the first time in my life. And I did that because um, I think that I, I thought I had a rib potentially out a socket. I've had this problem for about a month now. And so all the things, all the fun activities that I just talked to you about, um, the the limiting factor was the back pain, uh, the rib pain. And so I went to a chiropractor. Turns out the rib is still in socket, but it's out of alignment. So we're working on that. Um, first time to chiropractor, though. And then Sunday, uh, yesterday, I went rock climbing. Um, and I went to a barbecue and I went to church. And so those are all the fun things that I was able to do all last week. Most of those are scheduled in as a routine. So music lessons every Monday. Uh tennis every Wednesday, uh, swing dance every Friday, 
uh probably going to be going rock climbing not it's not actually booked in on the hard spot but regularly and consistently um and this tuesday will be interesting tuesday is usually date night uh this tuesday you know tomorrow is fourth of july and fourth of july also happens to be my wife's birthday so um tomorrow is gonna be an interesting day i don't know if i'm working tomorrow or not um but this is the stuff you start to get to do is you realize uh i, I realized that i actually had a lot more f- success financially and in the business um as i started paying more attention to my mental health and my physical health and uh the those kind of work life balance things that i earnestly enjoy outside of work that are independent uh the more that i lean into those things the, the more that i saw business success and so now um in a in a weird way while i'm still very very busy um i had the most success i've ever had in business while also working less than i typically work because uh, i started working maybe six hours a day on average. And then, you know, that the, like last week, Thursday, I didn't really work very much. And and I took a week off last month. And um, all of those things have just uh, culminated in this like, this balance of like, maybe I, may, I'm probably working less than 30 hours a week now um, that are hardcore discipline work. And half that time is on my business and half that time is on my clients. And um, frankly, I could probably find that and I don't need to be putting in even that much work. Um, But there's things that I'm doing because I enjoy them. And so I'm still figuring out time management and getting these systems uh, locked in. Uh, But those are really exciting experiences that I've had that I want to share with you. And and that kind of leads me to um, this kind of this notion, this idea that I, that I'm developing, um, I just posted like right before I started recording this, I posted on uh, just on Facebook, uh, this simple uh, quote, it's just three sentiments. It's uh, fail fearlessly, rise relentlessly and conquer unyieldingly. And, and so it, it's this idea of learning to expect and respect and appreciate failure. So um, the things that we, that the world sees as failure I'm learning to look at and say, actually, these are not failures. These are learning opportunities, which is an expression that you've heard often. But um, these are learning opportunities. These are growing opportunities. These are valuable assets to your business. Because here's the thing. In June, I had the most successful month of my career. But two months prior, I wasn't sure how we were going to be able to pay for the uh, unexpected expense that came with a vehicle expense. So you guys knew I was working on a car a lot. And then and I didn't have no idea how to pay for catalytic converters. We were just tight on cash. Catalytic converters were expensive. Um, my parents ended up helping out. And, you know, just a couple months later, uh, to have the largest financially successful month of my career to suddenly be doing much better than I did when I was a teacher. And it, it took exactly a year from going full-time into business to having this huge win. Um, And now the next three months are mapped out where the next three months, if I don't get any new business, I will have locked in uh, more revenue and probably more profit. I just have to run the numbers on that than I ever made as a teacher as well. So it took a year. And in the midst of that year, I had the biggest challenges of my career. It was so difficult. Um, You know, the, the year launched with a huge, massive investment falling through, with a partnership falling through, um, with me having no idea what I was going to do. And then there were like these four or five month space of me just like shotgunning everything that I could try uh, before I got some refinement back in November. And then really, that means that this, this focus in this direction uh, was clarified in January. And so it took 12 months, but it took six months of focus to be in the best spot I've ever been in. Um, and there was an intense amount of struggle to get there. Um, so my, my encouragement to you, and the reason I'm sharing this is because I'm hoping it is encouraging. My encouragement to you is there's no guarantees in life, obviously, but oftentimes what the world sees as failure is actually the building blocks to success. But what the, oftentimes what the world sees as evidence that you should quit is actually the tried and true and proven path that must be walked down if you want to be a truly successful business owner. What I have for you guys today, thank you so much. I'll be back in your buds once again tomorrow. God bless.